Welcome to System Dynamics Online Tutorials. Within this session, we're going to cover the uh, single level implosion within the manufacturing application. Under the manufacturing within uh, the structures and routings, and within the inquiries, we have the single level implosion application. What this application allows me to do is from the component level, uh, implode or point to the finished products that that particular component is used in. Um, you can think of it as a, a, an inverted triangle, if you will, and you're starting at the lowest level and pointing up to or down to the uh, uh, finished good or manufactured item level. Uh, when the application is first uh, displayed, we are put in uh, the warehouse asking where we want to do this inquiry on. So we could use the list of values to see all of the warehouses available to us and pick the one that we want to choose. And from a component perspective, uh, as soon as I hit enter, I'm put into a query mode um, for this given application. I can enter anything of the components uh, or product groups if I wanted to get all the all the components within a certain product group and see, the, uh, see where they are used. Um, or I could actually key in the particular component that I want to do the uh, implosion on. So if I wanted to see um, internally where all my CP750s, uh, which the system will query against and give me information as to what that is, um, I can simply enter in the component and execute the, the query. And I can see that the uh, CP750, uh, the d description is returned, the cap for 750 mil bottles. Um, and the pertinent information about that uh, each is it tells me it's a purchased item and it belongs to the product group of caps. I can see that it belongs in three distinct structures or bill of materials within my manufacturing environment and uh, it tells me the description of those, the particular uh, product type and it tells me the quantity required for the structure quantity defined. So here I need uh, 12,000 caps for the thousand uh, cases and the quantity per unit um, is uh, 12, uh, 12 caps per case, so the, the ratio of uh, uh, stocking uh, and structure quantity here. So this uh, actual uh, query I could do again and again, uh, the system will stay there and do it for any components. If I actually uh, just do a uh, execute the query, it'll show me all of my components within this warehouse and I can see that my bottles are used in the same three structures, um, my bulk is used in the same three, three structures, there's the caps again, and I'm using the, the next record, uh, previous record. Here is uh, cases, they're also used, and I can see that uh, a generic case that I have set up in the system is only used by one structure um, here. So again, the single level implosion is a, an inverted triangle starting at the component level and pointing down to or up to the finished good or manufactured item level. And that concludes the single level implosion inquiry.